San Diego County turning another corner in the pandemic. The CDC is now classifying it as having a low level of COVID-19, meaning masks are no longer necessary indoors, including in schools. Thanks for joining us. This is a nightly check and I'm Mark Mullen. So the change comes just days after the agency reported San Diego County has been in the high category for transmission levels, which comes with a recommendation to continue wearing masks. So that's part of the reason San Diego Unified and Sweetwater School District said this week they would hold on to the mask mandate beyond March the 12th, which is when California lifts the requirement. But today, San Diego Unified revealed that masks will be optional for students starting April 4th, which happens to be the day they return from spring break. Many parents told us they don't mind waiting if they had to. You know, their kids, some of them are not vaccinated and it's more likely for them to have symptoms and not, uh, not to have the virus, but not have symptoms. And so it's easier for them to transmit it to the teachers, the staff, and consequently, you know, the parents and so on. Whatever the teachers want to do um, to protect themselves, we're all for it. I'm completely fine with it. Um, right now, my son is comfortable with it and he would probably want to wear the mask at this point. Meanwhile, Sweetwater Union High School District told us they will review their position on mask wearing in two weeks. The man who killed a San Diego police officer in 2016 has been sentenced to death. Jesse Gomez was convicted last year of first degree murder of Jonathan J.D. de Guzman and injuring his partner, Officer Wade Irwin. Right now, all executions are on hold due to a 2019 moratorium put in place by the governor. But juries are still able to recommend it in trials. Rec Officer Irwin and the wife of Officer de Guzman both addressed the court directly today, and so did Gomez, who said de Guzman's killing was not an intentional act. San Diego County has hit another milestone when it comes to gas prices. For the first time, the average price of a gallon of gas topped $5, holding now at $5.10 a gallon. That is due to a 12.9% jump from yesterday. That is the largest daily increase since July of 2015. Analysts blame the price spike partially on a supply shortage caused by some in the industry trying to avoid Russian oil transactions. The average price of gas in San Diego County has increased 29 out of the past 32 days. A North Park resident is taking his love for the neighborhood to the next level. Ben Smith is his name. He says he missed being able to visit some of the area's iconic spots during the pandemic. So he's making up for it by building Lego replicas. So check this out from the North Park sign to pretzels and pints. Ben Smith has spent time and money recreating his neighborhoods with Legos. I was getting suggestions from the kids on, you know, places we could build that we missed going to uh, when everything kind of locked down. So I started building, you know, tribute pizza and then I was like, oh, I missed going to shows at Soda Bar. There is an Instagram page called North Park Lego where each of the builds are posted. Smith has expanded his repertoire and some of the finished products you will see might not be exclusive to North Park. Either way, he says he has more ideas coming. Stay tuned. All right, before we sign off, here are your current temperatures. Uh, Dagmar has an extended forecast over at the weather section located on the main menu of our streaming apps on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. I'm Mark Mullen. Have a good weekend.